Laura Ashley Overdyke with the Caddo Lake Institute and today we are releasing paddlefish in Caddo Lake. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service from Tishomingo, Oklahoma brought down about 10,000 juvenile paddlefish and they are releasing them here at the state park in Karnak, Texas. This is all part of an official restocking plan to try and get the populations of paddlefish back up to a sustainable, self-sustaining level. The paddlefish were here um, naturally and then they died out in the 70s when a dam upstream was put in. The paddlefish lost a springtime pulse of water to tell them it was time to spawn and they also lost the rocky bottom where they could lay their eggs. So the Caddo Lake Institute working with Northeast Texas Municipal Water District, the Corps of Engineers, Texas Parks and Wildlife has been restoring flows of water that mimic mother nature. So now the paddlefish can be fully restocked into this water body. And they are our continent's oldest living species, 50 million years older than the dinosaurs. The fossil record tells us there were once six different species of paddlefish in the world and there were only two species left in modern times, one in China and then this American paddlefish. But last year, the Chinese officially declared that their species is now extinct as well. So five extinct species, and this is the only remaining species on the planet. And the Shreveport Aquarium is part of this very unique raise and release program where they raise juvenile paddlefish until they're ready to be released and then release them each spring. So young people can go to the Shreveport Aquarium and see this living fossil before they get released again next year. If you go to the CaddoLakeInstitute.org website, there's a lot of information about this whole experiment and what it took to get here today. Uh, and then you could also go to the Shreveport Aquarium. Uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife has some great information on their website as well.